to all of you new vegans out there. Here's a little song. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Hello students, we're going to be reviewing the work of Gordon Ramsay, who has 15 million followers here on TikTok. Eat your vegetables! Tommy, the nice vegan girls don't want to see your buttons, but if you want them to play with your buttons, you're going to have to show them your fruits and your vegetables. Katie Karen Dick Meyer, formerly known as That Vegan Teacher. She is a Canadian animal rights activist, internet celebrity, and a quote-unquote singer-slash-songwriter, mainly for promoting veganism, but mostly in controversial ways. Before doing her online career, Dick Meyer was a nurse and later an ESL teacher, but eventually left the latter job at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. She has been married for at least two times and has three children according to sources. Dick Meyer is known for being vocal of her opinions on other social issues, such as antinatalism and religious fanaticism. Dick Meyer is known for her TikTok and YouTube career of promoting veganism as well as being controversial for a long time. She also went viral on TikTok for a song named Eating Animals is Wrong, McDonald's, in July 2020. Rachel Kiley of The Daily Dot characterizes some of Dick Meyer's content as racist and homophobic, including repurposing the slogan of I Can't Breathe for a song about the process of killing animals and arguing that coming out as an LGBT member is a selfish act, as opposed to doing so as vegan. Dick Meyer has compared the meat-eating industry to the Holocaust and argued that the slaughter of animals is equivalent to or worse than the Holocaust, for which she also received condemnation for her insensitivity. And in September 2020, she was criticized for saying she would no longer sign her organ donor card because she didn't want to donate her organs to meat eaters after she dies. The video would receive more than 750,000 views on TikTok and over 100,000 on Twitter. And when March came about in 2021, she made a YouTube video titled, Are You Racist? in which she spelled out the N-word and encouraged people to ban cruelty instead of words. Another controversy arose in result of Dick Meyer's comment on a 2021 TikTok video by gaming YouTuber Tommy Innit, where he talked about his YouTube play button using TikTok's stitch function. She responded, Tommy, the nice vegan girls don't want to see your buttons, but if you want them to play with your buttons, you're going to have to show them your fruits and your vegetables. And she took out a cucumber, a pear, and an apple. This sexual joke enraged people online, owing to Tommy Innit's age, who is 16. And later that year, she was IP banned from TikTok for breaching community guidelines, though the exact cause was unknown. Dick Meyer then posted a video on her YouTube page promising to not give up her platform. She had also made more TikTok accounts, but it ended up with all of them being banned. Now, with all of these controversies being addressed, I think it's about time that we delve even deeper into this situation that is Katie. <laughs> Hello, my dearest comrades. I have missed you for quite some time. Now then, Katie seemed to have caused plenty of issues within several communities, as well as constantly getting hate for her actions. Now your questions might be, why is she like this? What was her life like before she decided to become a psychotic content creator? Was she always this bad, or is she a fully aware troll that eats up the clout? Well, regardless, we will give an attempt to find the answers. Because today, we shall be covering a tale of a lady who has been quite the problem online. One whom is persistent, and one that still continues to make everybody hate her. And that woman is going to be none other than that vegan teacher. Now then, thank you all for stopping in today. Make sure to leave a subscribe, leave a like, and I hope you all enjoy this video.
In the beginning, Kitty was born in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, on September 24, 1964. During her life, she became a registered nurse for 25 years before attending Concordia University to become an ESL teacher in French-Canadian schools. She worked both jobs and eventually dropped her nursing career to work full-time in the school system. At the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, she dropped out of her career and then she begun her new online career. Katie made her channel on July 21st, 2018 and uploaded her first video on the same day, with the video named Hummus and Carrot Wrap. Afterwards, she progressed into making several videos addressing veganism, singing and making tunes about it, discussing her love for animals, and yada yada. However, lots of strange and questionable actions would be seen as you go through more of her content. Katie forces those who aren't vegan to become vegan, in her own image and hers alone. She would often make videos about supporting animals and would also make responses to those who have talked bad and or exposed her. She would also persuade people to watch multiple vegan documentaries. Since she claims to be a teacher, she also refers to her audience as students and grades people based on their actions, like a check if their actions support her ideology or an X if it opposes. Her ideology is that only vegans go to heaven, although she hypocritically states religions are false, and that everybody should be vegan, and there is no possible excuse to not be. She has an animosity towards anybody who isn't vegan or do not conform to her expectations, and would call people evil or animal abusers if they continue to consume animals and their products. She expects that her quote-unquote students to meet specific criteria, showing vegan cruelty-free products, saying that only vegan foods <sighs> should be in schools and hospitals being under 10 minutes. And she refers to her audience's videos as essays or presentations. Ironically, she had expected Jamie Oliver to follow her expectations of animal rights activism in a video about crispy lamb flat breads. She also refers to the internet as her quote-unquote school, she believes that she could do any method to convert people to veganism because of the fact that she's vegan. She also avoids answering questions by bringing up unrelated guilt tripping. Unfortunately, right out of the blue and with the birth of this channel came with immediate toxicity and cult-like behavior. Reason I claim it as so is because you can't force anybody to change their eating habits, let alone their behavior through these negative teachings. For instance, if I use this logic, that would mean babies are evil because they eat meat to survive. And if you do not agree with the fact that eating meat is wrong, well then I guess that means you will go to hell because you've had yourself a hamburger. I guess that means I'm gonna have to get a three-way with Satan down below if this applies to me. Another thing is she deflects blame countless times, and she treats viewers as if they are dumb robotic little children without any guidance, when in actuality, a lot of people are seen through this crap instantly. She also has a large amount of unsettling songs about this, with her trying her hardest to manipulate a gigantic crowd to do as she says. But like I said, nobody is really buying it, it's like trying to teach a mouse how to fucking make a bowl of spaghetti. The results are just not going to be realistic. Now then, I say it's time we address more controversy by going down a long list. Let's start with the Oregon donation situation. In September of 2020, Katie came under fire for comments made on her account surrounding Oregon donation. In a TikTok, she said, I've decided that there is no way on earth that I ever want any of you meat eaters to ever get my organs if I die. As a result, Katie said that she decided that year to not sign her Oregon donor card for the first time. The video received more than 753,000 views on TikTok and over 100,000 on Twitter. Next, we have the Tommy Innit drawing. Drama. On December 15th, 2020, Tommy Innit made a TikTok about being surrounded by many women in college, with a nervous glance. Most of Tommy's fans loved the video, amassing at closely 2 million likes. Katie then responded to the TikTok saying, Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. Tommy's fans then started to freak out at the random and even odd comment. Katie then made a response video on her channel which targeted and backlashed Tommy's fans. Some of the transcript read, Tommy Innit fans, what the f*** is the matter with you guys? 
you're losing your minds. I saw some of the duets that you guys did to that little 15 second video I did for him. What the fuck are you guys doing? Some of you are crying. Some of you were punching the camera going fucking crazy. Some of you were like, fuck off, stay away from Tommy. You know he's in college. I'm a teacher. I'm allowed to talk to him. You know what you should be crying about? The the torture, and the murder on all of your plates. Tommy has yet to make a response, but his fans are still reacting to the unexpected encounter. Katie was accused of stalking Tommy on January 11th, 2021, which caused many videos to be made about the situation. She later on went to respond to Tommy when he made a TikTok showing off his YouTube play buttons to his audiences, and her response said, Tommy, the nice vegan girls don't want to see your buttons. But if you want them to play with your buttons, you're going to have to show them your fruits and your vegetables. And then she held up an apple, a pear, and a cucumber. These foods were realized by the audience of the video to be resembling parts of, well, you know, a guy's junk. As Tommy was 16 years old, a minor according to UK law, at the time Katie spoke to him in a seemingly sexual manner. As in some places, this can define as sexual harassment. And then, on April 19th, 2021, Pyrocynical made a video featuring Tommy, in which the two reacted to one of Katie's videos on veganism, only to laugh them off and make fun of her. Furthermore, Tommy commented that he has no opinion on veganism and does not want to get involved because he is not interested on the subject. And I can't blame him. Now then, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. There is another case involving a response to Das Games. Das Games made a reaction video criticizing and ridiculing Katie. Only a few days later, on January 2nd of 2021, she responded with a video defending herself. She stated that since his video had over 1 million views that the vegan activists will take over the comments, <laughs> which ultimately backfired causing her to receive even more hate. Daz made a final video about Katie on December 9th of 2021, responding to her video and directly telling her that you are brainwashed. You think that everybody is coming at you because of what you put in your mouth. It's what comes out of your mouth that we don't like. Near the end of his response video, he had a diss track and later posted it on a separate video, ironically claiming that he is done making videos onto her. So this lady, as you can see, is definitely not shy to any sort of drama. If anything, it's as if she enjoys the attention and is using it to her advantage, which in some ways I can see it as impressive, but sometimes with channels such as this, it can lead to very unhealthy scenarios unironically, since she's a vegan channel. She also would demote the LGBTQ community on January 2021, with her making a TikTok talking about veganism once more. This time, she said that coming out as a vegan activist is more special than coming out as an LGBTQ member. This was met with a lot of backlash from a ton of people. For example, one such comment said that coming out as vegan is not as special as coming out as gay or lesbian. I am lesbian myself. Vegan is a diet, not a sexuality. Katie then responded to the user's comment with, You are absolutely wrong. Coming out as a vegan animal rights activist, as someone who cares beyond themselves, is much more special than it is to come out as a member of the LGBTQ community. Coming out as a member of the LGBTQ community is an entirely selfish act. It's talking about only you. It's not talking about the things that you are going to do better in the world. Coming out as an animal rights activist is talking about the animals, others, not just you. In fact, it is a completely unselfish thing to do. Yes, I am not saying coming out as an LGBTQ member is easy in different societies and different religious backgrounds, but if you are in a religion that treats you so badly, just change your religion. We've been over this before, just look at my comment section. Think of how terribly vegan animal rights activists are treated. Not just me, all of them. Do better, be kind to those who are being kind, and be vegan. As you can see, it does not take much to set this demon off. And that is perhaps one of the most delusional things I have ever heard coming out of somebody's mouth. And as you can imagine, the comment section was then full of roast targeting Katie. Even a natural vegan's video defending her was mass disliked and roasted. 
You know it's also funny because a month later, Poncho uploaded the video that vegan teacher ate meat. In the video, somebody who looked like her was eating a meal from Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers. This was seen as hypocritical of her as she shamed others for the same thing. She responded by admitting that he was right. She did eat meat, but this was before she made the decision to become vegan. Right, because that's just an absolutely wonderful excuse despite you degrading several others. At least you admitted to eating meat before. And you know what? What if I tell you that it gets worse? And the reason it gets worse is because she tried to diss the god known as Gordon Ramsay himself. In January 2021, Katie created a TikTok towards Gordon Ramsay, making a song that was very similar to the one that she sang in front of a McDonald's restaurant. Ramsay then posted a duet of the video and eats a beef burger in front of Katie, proving that he would not be vegan like the song states. Katie then posted a similar response video that was taken down by TikTok and I loved it. And then on March 19th, 2021, Ramsey released a video titled, Gordon Ramsey Goes Vegan for Steak? Question mark, where he said he's temporarily going vegan for lunch. In the video, Ramsey cooks an eggplant steak and shows the ingredients to his recipe. However, Katie took Ramsey out of context when he said that he is turning vegan and congratulated him by singing, apparently he can't stop thinking of me. And after realizing in her tiny mind that he wasn't actually going to become vegan, Katie went on to slander Ramsey for the murder of animals, calling him the devil, and comparing him to the one and only A.H. But Gordon Ramsay's simple reply was what made the TikTok bearable, thankfully. Moving on, on July 6th, 2021, Katie released a diss track against Ramsay on her YouTube channel. And it's just as bad as you may think. The video at the time before the dislikes were disabled, there was over 11k, and there was only 1k likes. The comments, unsurprisingly, were disabled for this video. Now, let's go back in time just a bit. On March 2nd of 2021, Katie made a video saying that she should be allowed to say the N-word, and made a video where she gave compliments to a black doll, calling her naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, exemplary, and radiant writing all the words in form of an acrostic poem, spilling out the slur. This wasn't Katie's first time making a racist statement, as she was also infamous for repurposing the prominent Black Lives Matter I Can't Breathe slogan into a song about the process of killing animals, released on May 25th, 2020, the same day when George Floyd was killed under police custody. She has also compared the killing and consumption of animals and their products to the Holocaust, Come on, mate, if this isn't hardcore trolling to the max, then I'm not even sure what is. If she's trolling, then she has my biggest applaud, but otherwise, she's freaking insane. I mean, she's also got a dog named Bella, but she also puts Bella on a vegan diet. And due to the controversial treatment, hashtag Save Bella the Dog emerged on Twitter, as well as petition on change.org. Despite claiming herself as an advocate of animal rights, her treatment towards Bella is considered hypocritical because her dog has been vegan since August of 2017. First of all, since the dawn of time and the beginning of all things in evolution, most animals had survived on meat and other animals so they could survive, you know, properly. Aside from some herbivores here and there, of course, but forcing a dog to eat something their whole ancestry has grown up to never eat or consume is quite astonishing. Now, moving on to July 2021, Katie has striked again after four months of silence since she got banned from TikTok thrice in a row, and fed her dog a vegan diet. She attacked Darman for not making a video about veganism and attempted to educate him, quote unquote. She responded to Dar with, This guy, everyone told me to go follow this guy, go check him out. He has all these videos and he's such a great guy. He's talking about being kind to everybody, and I thought, yay. I can't wait to see all of his vegan videos. So, I started scrolling because he has 10.9 million followers. Started scrolling through all of his stuff, and you know what I saw? Nothing about veganism at all. Not one thing. Not one video that talks about not being vegan-phobic. Not one video that talks about being vegan-fantastic. Being kind to animal rights activists. Not one thing about dystopia. Anyone who is suffering the anguish of being vegan in a non-vegan world? Nope. 
anything about cognitive dissonance of how people are effed up in the head. How they think that they love animals and yet they murder them. They stab their knives into them. She also added something before she reacted to one of the videos of him, was saying, Let's see if we can see anything from a vegan perspective. Is there an indication that this guy is vegan? Because if he is not vegan, we need to veganize him. Because these people have all of these followers, and they need to help us to create a vegan world. Furthermore, Darman kept his neutrality on him getting attacked by Katie. But on August of 2021, Darman apologized for him not putting vegan food onto his videos. And he also promised to Katie that he will include vegan food on one of his upcoming videos if Katie removes one of his exes. Everybody wasn't happy on him listening to Katie since he doesn't care for anybody's thoughts about her. And unfortunately, her onslaught doesn't stop there. Because on August, once again, Katie came back attacking even more YouTubers this time. And she even attacked Mr. Beast for promoting eating meat. So, she responded by reacting to a video that Mr. Beast is eating a $70,000 pizza. On the start, she said, Is it vegan? He doesn't say so. Then she responded to the part where they are eating a $2,000 steak. Steak is a dead animal that didn't want to die. Then she responded to the part where they have eaten a $5,000 taco. She says, are they vegan tacos made with beans and vegan cheese? And then she responded to the part where he ate a $1 pizza, with saying, is that vegan cheese? Then she responded to the part where he ate a 2 and $8 hot dog, saying, is that a vegan hot dog? And blah, 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 blah. You're, you're, you're kind of seeing where this is going. She's just not stopping. Because I don't know hardly anybody else who would actually do this kind of relentless trolling. It just kind of baffles me as to how much that this person wishes to attack other content creators just because of a food and eating preference. I have never seen somebody as crazy as this forcing people to change their eating habits. And even going as far as to wanting to make other carnivores into, you know, vegans as well. I mean, legitimately, our whole entire ancestry of human beings have actually grown up from eating meat. We evolved from meat. We needed the proteins. We needed the vitamins that meat would help give to us. Now, I'm not saying that vegetables are bad, because they're obviously not. Vegetables are very good for you. You could also say the same for fruits. But there is absolutely nothing wrong with having meat as well. I mean, that's just kind of how the world works. We have to kill to survive. At least nowadays anyways with the new technology since we can make like plant-based burgers and all that crap. But meat is just something that's not gonna leave our planet. A lot of us have grown up from it and it's going to stay that way whether you like it or not. Moving on, after she reacted to the video, she tried to force Mr. Beast to become vegan and to promote all vegan websites. And on October 13th, 2021, she made a song which is similar to the Gordon Ramsay diss track, but instead replaced the word Gordon Ramsay with, you know, Mr. Beast. The video shows the videos that include food, mainly burgers and meat, and at the end of the song, she said that she wanted people to encourage Mr. Beast to become vegan, and promote documentaries, which include Earthlings, Dominion, Cowspiracy, and Seaspiracy, which later on cuts to a black screen for the rest of the video. Complete and utter cringe. Now, on the same month, when Katie attacked Mr. Beast, she started making videos on PewDiePie, praising him for declaring himself a vegan. PewDiePie isn't a fucking vegan, you moron. But anyways, it was rather a pescatarian, someone who refrains from eating all meat except for fish. And the videos were criticized for overanalyzing, and for Katie projecting her views onto Felix. PewDiePie made a reaction video with Cinnamon Toast Ken, where they both criticized and made fun of Katie, which was deserved. And it still baffles me that she goes so far out of her way to ridicule countless other channels. Let's name some more, why don't I? Anna Oop. Despite her attacking Anna a few months earlier, on August 19th, Katie posted a video of her reacting to Anna's video called, I Found a Girl Worse Than That Vegan Teacher. Throughout the video, Katie constantly bashed Anna and continued to take the side of Vegan Booty. Vegan Booty was put under legal trouble after vandalizing a KFC joint with fake blood. Katie also promoted the No Bra Club, saying that fat men had bigger boobs than her which could be seen as fat shaming. 
There was also another content creator named Teacher Eddie. On September 1st of 2021, Katie posted a Bella Vegan Dog video that contained a special message for Eddie and fellow YouTuber Papa Gut. During the message, she said that Eddie's son should be taken away from him because Eddie teaches him that being cruel to animals and their defenders is some kind of manly sport. Teacher Eddie posted a reaction video hours later. KB Lame On November 23rd of 2021, Katie posted a video on YouTube attacking popular TikToker KB Lame because he was cooking an egg on a pan. And on November 27th of 2021, she attacked KB again because he was eating some raw chicken wings. Uh, let's see. Let's also address the 9-11 situation. On September 13th of 2021, two days after the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attack, Katie made a video saying that 9-11 wasn't such a big deal because meat eaters died in the incident. The video has since received countless dislikes and 440 plus likes. You can't see the dislikes now, but they were extremely high beforehand. Here's some more drama. In early 2021, re-uploaded on November 3rd of 2021, Katie made a video attacking the majority of religious people. By further comments, presumably primarily Muslims, Jews, and Christians. She made a song called Change Your Religion, and the lyrics included offensive quotes such as show God that you really care. Why not be an atheist every Sunday alongside more? It can be concluded by this and many quotes Katie has made that she doesn't value the traditional teachings of any culture or religion. Nor does she review the contents of what she attacks, and she just obviously does not care in the single slightest about other people but herself. And then, on February 24th of 2022, following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Katie posted a community post saying bombs are dropping from the sky in Ukraine. Does anybody think of the animals? Not just the terrified pets inside homes, but all animals in cages already being tortured on factory farms. The post was heavily disliked, and Katie received massive backlash for her disrespect. I think you all get the point right about now. These controversies are out of control, and I could non-stop address them. In terms of the life story for her, it's surprisingly vague, but at the same time, not so much. She presents so much, but at the same time, hides a lot. From all we know, she was born on September 24th of 1964 in Montreal, and is of German and Swiss descent. She went to a Catholic school and described herself as an average student. She worked as a registered nurse at the Lakeshore General Hospital for 25 years, and she attended Concordia University to become an ESL teacher in French-Canadian schools for nine years. She worked both jobs before dropping her nursing career to work full-time in the school system, and eventually leaving her job at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. And unfortunately, from what we know, she is seen and known as a negative YouTube personality with manipulation, cruelty, racism, homophobia, animal rights nonsense, and a vegan. It's funny because she claims to be opposed to a lot of these things, but like, she is mostly them. Which really makes me think if she is truly a troll that is using hate to get her support and views. I mean, she's like the arch nemesis of Nick Okado Avocado, as well as a lot worse in my honest opinion. But another crazy thing as well is that this is not the end of her tale. As a matter of fact, you could say that it's only started. But all that we know is that she is a vegan animal rights activist with the intention of trying to manipulate people into going her own path. But fortunately, a lot of people are not falling for the load of crap that this lady has given. To this day, she consistently uploads and is still going to remain as a problem to countless communities. And if I continue to encounter more problems, I will be sure to address them in the future. But for now, that is the story of Katie Dickmeyer, known as that vegan teacher. Why hello my dear friends and acquaintances. Thank you all for watching this video. You'd have to excuse me for my long absence. I really wish to post more frequently but a lot of things came up that I had to take care of. But do not worry, I still am trying to keep in contact and have some new projects in the works for your viewing pleasures. Just know that I am always thankful each day for you showing up and sticking around like the true companions that you are. And remember, eat as much meat and blood as you want. Vegetables are nice too, but you don't have to become a vegan so you don't go to hell. 
enjoy what you wish, so long as it is good for you. Now, with that being said, thank you all for being here today, and do not forget to leave a subscribe and a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Have yourselves a good morning, a good afternoon, and I hope you all have yourselves a good night.